if you want to detach audio and edit the audio from your video footage all you need to do is use your secondary clip and click on detach audio now when you do this um, this is very important for ducking um, ducking effects or just like fade-ins and fade-outs you know for the beginning and end of a video to create that ducking effect you need to make sure that your cursors cursor is placed on the line here and you need to hold down the alt key on your keyboard and once you have that circle attached to the end of your cursor you can adjust the volume to the level you prefer if you are doing ducking effects um, I usually use 45 and for fadings I use either 10 or 5% also, also using the mouse to adjust the volume could be rather tedious so if you have the option to adjust the volume setting um with this slider here i suggest you do this because it's easier and uh, less time consuming um so for fade outs i normally leave it to uh 10 or 5 percent Let's see how this works. You see that? Did you hear the difference there? Let's play that again. There you go. You can reduce the volume level even more. And I, would, I can even see this going down to 5% to make that fade out even more effective so let's see that again there you go that's better all right now i'm going to show you how to add text to your videos so i'm going to choose a new clip here and I'm going to drag this one down to the timeline in exactly the way I did before. So, yeah. And I'm going to choose titles. Now you have a huge selection of tiles that you can choose from or text styles that you can choose from to make your movie stand out so for the sake of this video i'm going to choose i quite like pixie dust you have the ability to preview each tile in the preview pane just like this make sure the playhead is placed to the tile that you want to preview and i'm going to choose my favorite so the text overlays your video footage so it will look like this I'm going to type Nathan Drake. Alright, now I'm done. 
you need to click outside of the window to confirm your changes. So here we go. Did you see that? The box disappeared. There you go. I might actually go into uh, go full screen here so you can see the full effect. Rewind again. Beautiful. Um, yeah, you can even edit text strips. So if I found that this was too long and it needed to be shortened, all you need to do is use your secondary clip and make sure that the, the uh, playhead is placed to the point where you want to edit or cut the text clip and use your secondary click and select split clip now it is okay for you to delete the one that you don't want it won't affect your project in any way so as you can see, I have shortened my text. So the duration is a lot less than before. Let's just see that clip and text again. There you go. Did you see how short that was? Yeah. <laughs> Um, the next thing you can do, or I want to show you, is transition. Again, you have a lot of options to choose from. Now, with transitions, I suggest that you leave a five-second gap in your recording before you start doing anything. You know, the five seconds allows transitions to be more effective here. So I'm just going to cut a section of this clip again and drag until I see that black line. Um, again, you can preview these transitions I quite like the cross dissolve, the cross blur. Now, for the sake of this video and to save time, I'm going to use cross dissolve because I do, that's my favorite transition of them all. So, uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see the effects of this transition in full screen so let's just start from here did you see that yeah yeah that is my favorite but I will show you others too, just to give you an example. Remember to drag until you see that black line and always leave a five second gap in your recording for these transitions to be effective in your videos. It's just a rule in filming um let's see what what these are no i don't want to do that no i don't like that no no 
ねえじゃあモザイクエフェクトズカインスコールうん Let's try this one. Let's see what this one looks like. What happened to that translation? I have no idea. Trust it not to work during a tutorial. So, this one. There you go. Did you see that effect there? There you go. I find some of these effects to be, or transitions to be, quite cheesy, but it's okay for like, if you're doing basic stuff. Um, iMovie is, is quite good for professionals. I kind of recommend using Final Cut. I, I think Final Cut has a lot more to offer than iMovie if you're really serious about production and, and, and you know directing then you know I suggest that you use Final Cut for your project iMovie it's one level up from Windows Movie Maker it has a lot more to offer and it's good for basic use.